chapter 4, Strong Acid, Strong Wave, Class Life Science, Part 7, Titration, Strong Acid, Strong Wave. At the end of this session, students should be able to master the pH metric study of the reaction between strong acid and the strong base. Perform the pH metric titration of strong acid strong base. Part 3. Titration curve. Description. First case, titration of a strong acid by strong base. This is the graph representing the strong acid by strong base. The curve pH equals function of V is ascending. It's formed of three parts. Part AB, the pH increases slowly and the curve forms a flat line. Part BC, the pH increases rapidly, jump of pH, and the curve has an inflection point, which is the equivalence point. Part CD, the pH increases slowly again and the curve forms another flat line and tends to a horizontal asymptote, which is the maximum limit of pH equal 14 plus log CB, which is the pH of the solution in the bullet, pH of the strong base. This is the maximum value, the maximum limit of the Titration of a strong base by a strong acid. This is the curve representing the graph representing the titration of strong base by strong acid. The curve pH equal function of V A equal is descending. It's formed of three parts. Part a, B, pH decreases slowly and the curve forms a flat line. Part B, C, the pH decreases rapidly. We have shut down of pH and the curve has an infection point which is the equivalence point. Then this is part A, B. This is part B, C, and here we have the Eggman's point. This is part C, D. A, B, E, C, D. Now part C, D, the pH decreases slowly again, and the curve forms another flat line and tends to a horizontal asymptote which is the minimum limit of pH equal minus log CA, which is the pH of the solution in the bullet, which is a strong acid solution. Conclusion. The curve representing the titration strong acid, strong base has two Characteristics. It is formed of three parts and has one inflection point, which is the equivalence point. The pH at equivalence is pH. Graphical determination of equivalence point. In order to determine graphically the equivalence point, Using the parallel tangent method, we should follow the next steps.
Here we have the graph citation of strong as by strong base. Step one, plot a tangent on a concavity of the curve, this concavity, or the other concavity. And we draw a tangent on the first concavity of the tangent. Step two, plot a perpendicular on that tangent. On this tangent, we will plot a perpendicular. Here we plot the perpendicular on the tangent. Step three, plot another tangent on the second concavity of the curve and parallel to the first tangent. And we draw a perpendicular on the perpendicular, a tangent on the second concavity such that this tangent is parallel to the first tangent. We have two parallel tangents on the curve. Step four, on the midpoint of the distance between the two tangents plus a parallel line, we determine the midpoint between the two parallel this is the midpoint from this midpoint We draw a parallel line to the two tangents. Step five, the intersection of this parallel with the curve is the equivalence point. This is the equivalence point E. Now locate the coordinate of the equivalence point E. The vertical line determines the axis of the curve, which is V B E equal twenty milliliter, and horizontal line to the ordinate we have P H E equal seven then the coordinates of the equivalence point are VBE equal 20 millimeter and PH equal 7. This is the method of parallel tangent that permits us to determine the coordinates of equivalence point on the graph. Application 10 part B. Part application 10 part A, we have uh, a plot the curve PH equal function of VB. Now we should determine graphically the coordinates of the equivalence point solution of application 10 this is the graph we plot the first tangent then we plot a perpendicular on this tangent and we plot a perpendicular on this perpendicular such that it is a tangent on the second concavity of the curve we determine the midpoint from this midpoint, we uh, plot a perpendicular. This perpendicular is parallel to the two tangent. It cuts the curve, the jump of pH, with the equivalence point. This is the equivalence point E. We uh, vertically we identify 
how all we lo locate the volume of base added at segment which is 20 milliliters. Horizontally, we locate the pH at segment which is 7. Now, pH at equivalence. The ionic equation of the reaction, HCO plus plus Cl minus plus Na plus plus HO minus, as we have seen, HO plus plus HO minus gives 2 H2O. Na plus and Cl minus remain the same in different ions. The chemical species present in the solution at equivalence are and a plus Cl minus and H2O. We have no H3O plus at equivalence H3O plus and HO minus reacts completely. It remains H2O and a plus and Cl minus. These are the chemical species present at equivalence. And a plus and Cl minus are spectator or different ions have no acid base character. It remains H2O, H2O is neutral, then the pH should be equal to 7 at equivalence. This is why the pH E equals 7, because the medium at equivalence is neutral. Conclusion, the medium at equivalence of titration strong acid, strong base is neutral, that means pH E equals 7. Calculation at equivalence. How can we calculate the concentration of the solution to be titrated? At equivalence, reactants react according to stoichiometric ratio. That means number of mole of H2O plus introduced to the beaker. Equal to number of mole of HO minus added from the bullet. Number of mole of HO plus equal to the number of mole of the acid HA, which equal to CABA. Then we can replace number of mole HO plus by CABA. And number of mole of HO minus equal to the number of mole of the strong base, which is CB times BB. Then we can replace NHO minus by CBBB. Then at equivalence, number of mole HO plus introduced equal number of mole of HO minus added. Therefore, CABA equals CBBB. Then CA equal CB times BB over BA. We replace each term by its value and we calculate CA. Application 11. Determine the concentration of hydrochloric acid titrated. We have titrated a hydrochloric acid solution at your plus plus Cl minus of concentration CA unknown. We take a volume VA equal 20 milliliter. We titrate it using sodium hydroxide solution and A plus plus HO minus of concentration CB equal 10 negative 2 mole per liter. Volume of base added determined graphically equal to 20 milliliter. The net equation of the titration reaction is H3O plus from strong acid, HO minus from strong base, complete reaction we obtain 2H2O. According to the stoichiometry of this reaction, one for HO plus and one for HO minus, at equivalence, number of mole of H3O plus introduced to beaker equal number of mole of HO minus added from the bullet. We replace number of mole HO plus by CABA and number of mole HO minus by CBBB 
E. Then C A equal C B V B A over V A. C B equal 10 to the power negative 2 times V B A 20 over V A 20. Then the answer is 10 negative 2 mole per liter. This is how we calculate the confrontation of the titrated solution using the result of titration. Application 12, we want to titrate using pH meter a solution S of sodium hydroxide with a standard solution of hydrochloric acid of Ca equals 0.1 mol per liter. For this experimental activity, we pour 10 ml of solution S into a beaker and then we add enough distilled water to immerse the electrode of the pH meter. We add progressively the above standard hydrochloric acid solution and we measure the pH of the solution corresponding to the volume VA of the acid add. The following results are obtained. Table shows the variation of pH as function of VA added. Part A, plot the curve pH equal function VA. Use the following scale, 1 cm for 1 ml in abscissa, 1 cm for 1 unit of pH in ordinate. B, determine graphically the equivalence point. C, explain the value of pH at equivalence based on chemical species. D, determine the concentration of the basic solution S. Application. 12. We titrate a sodium hydroxide solution of concentration CB. And now we take a volume BB equal 10 milliliters. We titrate it using hydrochloric acid solution H3O plus plus Cl minus of concentration CA equal 0 0.1 mole per liter. VAE is determined using the titration curve. Part A, plot the curve. This, this is the curve representing the variation of pH as function of BA added. And part B, you uh, determine the coordinates of the equivalence point graphically. Using parallel method tangent, we determine the coordinates of equivalence point. We have uh, VAE equal 9 milliliter and PHAE equal 7 milliliter. This is the equivalence point E. Then part B, according to the graph, we have VAE equal 9 milliliter pH E equals 7. These are the coordinates of the advanced point. C. Explain based on chemical species the value of pH at advanced. We write the chemical species present at equivalence at N A plus from sodium hydroxide, C L minus from hydrochloric acid solution, and water H two O. H two O plus and H O minus are completely disappeared at equivalence. We have N A plus and C L minus are spectator ions or in different ions. It remains H2O is 
neutral, then the medium is neutral than pH of the neutral medium, which is pH E equal 7. D, determine the concentration of the basic solution titrated. Uh, the at equivalence, the reactant reacts according to the stoichiometry of the reaction. What, which reaction? We should write the titration reaction before write the reaction. Then the net equation of the titration reaction is. HO minus from strong acid plus H3O plus from strong uh, acid, HO minus strong base, HO plus strong acid, give to H2O. Now, at equivalence, number of mole of HO minus introduced to weaker. equal number of mole of H3O plus added from the bullet. We replace number of mole HO minus by CBBB and number of mole H3O plus by CABAE. We need to calculate CB, then CB equals CABAE over VB equals CA 0 0.1, VAE equal 9, our VB equal 10, and the answer equals 0 0.09 mole per liter. This is the solution of application 12. And this is the end of part two of the titration, uh, titration curve and calculation at equivalent.